I'm Kelly. Welcome to this unboxing for Catan Legend of the Conquerors. We are really excited about this new scenario game that plays with the Cities and Knights expansion. Let's get to it. Let's start with the rule book. This is the rule book for Legend of the Conquerors. Because Legend of the Conquerors is a scenario for Cities and Knights, uh, you also need to be really familiar with the Cities and Knights rules, and you should probably play through that game several times to get familiar with the mechanics of Cities and Knights before jumping into Legend of the Conquerors. Now, what I really love about this rulebook is it not only tells you how to play each scenario, it also tells a really interesting stories about some really formidable women who lead Catan and help defend it against the invading conquerors and the barbarians that are part of Cities and Knights. Thora and her sister Aegis lead Catan and they are the commanders of its army and naval fleet. This is the story of how they defend Catan against their invaders. Each scenario has a three or four player uh, set up with the map, how you put everything together, all the pieces that you need, some pieces that you don't need that can be excluded. And then at the end is the chronicle where you will track how you do through each chapter of the scenarios uh, to track in the end who is the ultimate uh, victor of the game. Next we have a ton of new hexes. Some of these hexes you'll be familiar with, some of them are new. Um, you'll have extra bricks, extra sheep, but you'll also have these new hexes that are swamps and swamps border the edge of the sea where the conquerors will land and try to invade Catan. There are also new frame tiles that will go around the edge of your game. They have different terrain on the edges. You'll notice here we've got a victory point tracker marks that um, help you keep your progress through the game. You'll also find a sheet of these new tiles that you, you won't have seen before. So we've got a foundry, which will help you make cannons, a horse barn that will help you raise your cavalry for horses, and there are also trading posts that serve the function of the ports or the harbors in Catan for trading. So two for one wheat, two for one lumber, two for one wool. We've also got some markers here indicating where the conquerors land on the board. There are also some setup pieces where you set your settlements on the board. It's just a, a setup assistant. You'll also find some chapter tiles that should look pretty familiar if you're familiar with Cities and Knights. So this is similar to the Barbarian track that you have in Cities and Knights, only it's a bit more complex. It's got a lot more events on it. And what you'll notice here is as the Barbarian ship moves along, when it comes to this purple flag, the Conquerors will land on Catan. Then there will be a Barbarian attack and followed by this uh, indicator for the directional die, which you'll roll to determine which way all the conquerors move on their way inland into Catan. And I just wanna show you the back, uh, the art on these is just beautiful. And it's such a great touch to have that little um, art on the back. There are also chapter tiles for chapter two and three you'll notice that there are a lot more things happening on each of these event spaces than chapter one. As the story progresses and the chapters go along, they get more and more intense. So you'll find that there are things happening almost every turn. I'll also point out these mysterious orange pieces are amber. Amber helps you pay for additional support that comes in from other countries in the second and third chapter. Additionally, Another thing you'll see are these little purple pieces, I'm gonna flip them around here, which represent wine. You didn't know that Catan grew grapes and made wine, they do. And it's very valuable and it helps them buy the assistance from other countries. Now we can get to all the fun little bits and pieces that we've got here in the bottom. First, we've got some new progress cards. These are new progress cards 
that will replace some of the progress cards from Cities and Nights. There are also player aid cards that will be given to each player for each chapter. And the chapter that they're for is marked on the back. I also have this great little die. This is the directional die that you will roll. And the color that comes up indicates which direction the conquerors will move on the board. And there's a tile that corresponds with it right here. And you'll follow that tile. So if you were to roll a green, then the conquerors would move in that direction that the green sword is pointing. So it just helps you to arrange the conquerors in the way that they're meant to go. We also have some great new player pieces that are new to the Catan world. This is the cannon. So you can equip your knights with cannons and cavalries to make them stronger and um, help you eat more easily defeat the, the conquerors. And that's the cannon. This is the horse. And there are also a whole bunch of little wooden hexes. Now these hexes represent the conquerors. And you will use them. Uh, you'll sticker them with all of these stickers one on each side, a lighter side and a darker side. And the reason for that is once they get moved, you'll flip them over so that you can tell which ones have been moved. The darker or lighter color just indicates which ones have already been positioned in this round and which ones haven't. Um, they go from strength two all the way to strength six. There are also fort pieces, which are these right here. And these go on the back to indicate when you in the third chapter when you defeat a fort uh, which rewards you get for defeating it and that's everything that comes in legend of the conquerors thanks for joining us for this unboxing video if you want to check out a demo of how to play legend of the conquerors we have a demo in our youtube channel and we'll put a link to that in the video description you can also check out a blog by klaus teuber about the development of this game with tips on how to play it at katan.com you can also find Legend of the Conquerors, the Cities and Knights expansion, and tons of other great games at Catan.com or at your friendly local game store. Thanks for watching. Happy gaming.